Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Stacking. In this video, we are going to complete the, the cruise ship almost entirely. The only thing that's left would be a few hijinks. But uh, again, I believe I said in the last video that uh, if I'm going to complete all the hijinks, and that would be, you know, I'd come back to that after we beat the game. It's just... They're kind of finicky and and uh, watching me try to figure them out probably probably not going to be the most entertaining thing for you and honestly for me it's it's not uh, I don't know I don't know but anyways we're gonna beat this story and we're gonna collect or beat the cruise ship portion of the story and we're collecting all of the characters in this video we already have most but we're gonna finish them up the same time, I'm kind of, kind of disappointed in myself on this one because I pretty much define, you know, under our nose the whole time, kind of that concept. It's like something that's so obvious and it's right in front of you, but you didn't realize it until later on or whatever. You should, it should be very clear, uh, but I'll point it out anyways, so. Uh, so yeah, to catch up, what we've been doing, that's the elite, you know, music club, whatever you want to call it, that only becomes available after we've beaten all the rest of the, of the ship. We've, we've got the captain to return to port, so, and here you can see, we've got all the dolls. Uh, hey, let us in, you jerk. Of course, you won't let us in because you gotta be a fancy pants or very intimidating or something. Um, but we've got to get these two guys down in there because they're musical types. So we just get inside uh, Mr. Old Hemorrhoid Bum. And here we go. So we found the first part, or the first solution. That's that. And to get back at um, collecting all the unique dolls, if you remember from the other videos, that one artist type guy. Well, actually, he'll be present in this video as well. I honestly thought he would... I mean, he's a unique doll, technically, but you don't actually get to ever be him. So that kind of... That kind of, uh... I don't know. It tricked me, because I always thought you would, but... Um, so here's the under-your-nose thing. His parrot's hungry. And, you know, I'm thinking, okay... Let's go look for Mr. Cookie Puke. Because he pukes up cookies, and what parrot doesn't like vomit-covered cookies? I, I know I enjoy a fine glass of bile every morning to go along with my eggs and bacon. It's delicious. It burns your entire mouth. It's like, it's like spicy for hardcore people, because not only does it create the sensation of pain, it, it just literally melts away at your mouth um so i'm looking for the little cookie dude i'm like hmm where is he you know usually he's he was down around wherever but okay maybe he's moved because you can see these dolls they move from occasion to occasion and um i'm like well maybe i've seen him up here before so hmm but he's not here of course, if you don't know, I've already got him. You see the little purple dude inside when I jiggle and wiggle? That's Cookie Puker. He's right with me the whole time, and I don't even have the faintest clue. And <laughs> that's why I hate myself sometimes, and just just really bothers me. So, we're going to go back to Artist Touch is all that is needed. So I'm just like, oh, okay, well, obviously we could do the other objective. So what we need to do is get uh, get the artist to help us. But I'm still I'm still adamant about I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. Where where are you going, Michael? Where are you going? Oh, you're going to Mr. Pied Piper. And I thought at this point actually I was thinking artist. Well, a musical artist, and he's also got a fancy hat. And he's unique, so let him in. Because he could play down in the basement, right? Because he plays the food. Like, it just made sense to me. But apparently, it's not so. And he's too big to get inside, like, one of these other f fancy old dudes. 
and uh, artistic makeover. Okay, so this is the thing. We gotta take take these punks to the artist because they can't get in as it is. No way, sir. We've got to take them to the artist to get all purdied up with their makeup and their costumes and all that that good stuff. Now where am I going? Right, we gotta gotta get up the stairs. The artist is on the second deck of the ship. Get you in my way. I can't move. Can't move. Can't move. Hey, popsicle sticks. Can't move. Get. Can't. Th there. See, I I did it again. I was just the Mr. Puker, Cookie Puker, and I didn't even notice. I'm so disappointed in myself, but no matter, we've already got all the hints for this one, so we're gonna do it. Um, yeah, I honestly thought you could be the artist, but you can't. I don't get that one, I really don't, because he's unique in every way. You could do the hijinks with him, you, you see, you get five dolls uh, a makeover, so there's the hijinks for you. Go do and it has to be to like kids too. It can't it can't be to anybody. He only he only works on kids, which sounds kind of like he might be a pedophile, maybe. But uh, I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure he's a a cool dude. So see, this is I'm, just, I'm trying to get into the other twin, of course. Um, that no, I can't. Not quite. Okay, let's let's get there. We go. Yeah, little did I know you. Will, I mean, it makes sense to me, but I didn't realize that both both of them have to be all dressed up. So, oh, we're gonna take Mr. Jug. I wish I had a like a beer bottle or something on hand where I could make make that jug noise. Here, let me let me grab this. Now I feel like making some music while we're while we're playing this. I've got, I've got a bottle of gin. Maybe this will work. Okay, let's let's try it. I don't know how, I don't know how that's going to turn out audio quality wise, but oh, <laughs> I feel like I've inhum uh, inhaled enough gin fumes to be drunk. Given that I haven't had anything to eat yet today, except for peanut butter and toast. I needed to get some protein and some some good old peanut butter is the best best quick way to do that other than just eating an entire steak um, or maybe some peanuts peanuts would actually be easier because you don't even have to spread peanuts you just pop them in your mouth all right here we go here we go we've got uh, mr. puke fest he's ready to go let's let's and the parrot has a field day so now he's gonna help us get into the club because it was, he's so intimidating All right, we're, yep. We're going in. But, um, apparently, you know, we didn't do it right. We didn't do it right. Something's going on, and uh, I gotta figure it out, see? We, we helped him, like, he, we got him to move, but I don't know what's going on. I do not know what's going on. So we puke again, parrot's happy, I don't know, we get inside this guy, let's try it, nope, wrong lady, or wrong person, oh the pirate could be a lady, how do I know, you see, medical science is so crazy these days, people get sex changes like, it's nothing, you wouldn't even know, okay, so now we're going in as the pirate, is this going to make a difference? Hmm, no, it does not. I think I know where I have failed. Uh, yeah, I know what the pious parrot wants a crumbly tree. We've already solved that. Hmm, to wait for the next clue or to figure it out like a man. <sighs> of course I'm not a man, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat. I feel like this is cheating. I mean, they make it... Available to you. It's your decision. So, parrots and use pirates ability on the doorman. So, I see. You little cookie tosser. 
Hey, quick question. What's your favorite type of cookie? Leave an answer in the comments. Because I, uh, you know, Oreo, chocolate chip, uh, fudgio, I don't know. They're all good. So there we go. We give him a little Yarski. You have to intimidate him. And uh, there we go. We solved that. We solved it all. So ship's over. All the solutions found. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. And come back where we take on the next chapter in the next video. Peace out.